Hello everybody and happy Friday. So today I'm doing something a little different, a little special. Normally these videos are pre, pre, pre recorded by many months, but um, I just got back from New York Toy Fair. So I wanted to share some things about the fair. I cannot share everything I would love to tell you about because it's just in the works and happening. But I do want to share some things that I think are super, super, super important. Okay, so of course, while at the show, I got to have lots of pitch meetings. It was so much fun. I love pitching in person. If you ever have a chance to do that, take it, take that chance uh, because you actually get to play your game or show how your toy works or whatever it may be in person. Some things are larger, uh, so I couldn't bring all my prototypes and I just shared the videos with with companies but then some games i had right there in my suitcase with me and got to share how to play and play a couple hands and it's great to see how people are interpreting the game or, or the toy and to see it whether they like it like initial thoughts and reactions and so that's always fantastic when you can do that so if you have a chance to go to uh, a show no matter what industry you're in, I would say take it if it works out for you. And something else that I wanna share that can often happen in person is doors open that were maybe closed or maybe hard to get into online. And so something that was just so exciting about this show is companies that I've reached out to previously or maybe they were just not taking outside submissions previously were more open this show I found um, at least some companies that I had been trying to get into so it was great to be able to share new concepts with people who previously said oh we're not taking outside submissions right now and they are in, and they are now but also the fact that sometimes um, you can get to someone or start building a relationship with someone online but you may not be able to get to that right person, that decision maker. And what happens is that shows oftentimes you can get to speak with that decision maker or present to that decision maker. So that's always fantastic and another reason to go to shows when possible. So I also got to give some prototype samples to companies, whether they were interested previously in different meetings online or different shows, and then actually give them a sample to try uh, and play test with their team in person, uh, or whether we presented it, you know, that day and they wanted a sample and I had to get the extra sample for my hotel room. So that can happen too, which is exciting. And they want to play with their team that evening or take it back and see if their team can make the item, uh, and use your, your prototype as an example, as a starting place. So those are some fun things. But one of the reasons I really, really want to jump on, jump on here and do a, like as the time just happened video is because I really got to speak with a lot of inventors at the show as well, which is fantastic. There's lots of opportunities to speak with other inventors. You'll see people passing through and you could say hi and stop for a few moments. But I had some really, really great conversations with other inventors and, and especially some other women inventors as well as, as we're a minority in the toy and game industry and it was great to hear and listen what people are going through what they're struggling with what helps them and what i have found and realized from my conversations with all inventors is that people are feeling alone often and i wanted to just pop in here and say you are not alone I know it can feel like this is a lonely business sometimes because you're not with other people constantly and you're in your home and working on your projects and once in a while maybe you're working on you know with things with a partner uh, and it can feel lonely and you get, get excited when you get to be with other people and present ideas because then you're with people. Um, so I just wanna encourage you all to reach out to another inventor that you see on LinkedIn, that you see online, that you feel is really like-minded or that you've seen um, do something and, and you just see their personality and you think I might click with them or they seem like there's someone I could collect, you know, can connect with later on. Um, but reach out to them and drop them a note, see how they're doing. Say, hey, if you ever wanna chat, I'm up for it. 
So not everyone is going to say yes if in, I have time to meet with a hundred people, right? That's that's not what I'm saying. Um, but I'm saying find find one or two people that maybe you could connect with, and um, you know start meeting with them or chatting with them or forming a little group with them um, to talk about the hardships or what you're going through or the struggles and ask questions about NDAs and licensing agreements or whatever it may be, uh, prototyping and how far do you go with prototyping and what do you do for this and how do you handle this situation? But regardless of what it is, find some people in your corner. And even though we're all pitching to a lot of the same people, uh, we still can support each other and be each other's cheerleaders so I wanted to share that with you. I also want to share with you um, some things I've been doing to help with mindset and vibration frequency, raising that so I'm up and have this higher frequency energy uh, as well because I was talking to another amazing inventor and she's like, you need to start sharing that because other people might want to know about it too. So I'm going to once in a while share some things like that as well that have helped me in my journey because it's been super, super important um, for me. So often you'll see my diffuser or maybe like a little piece of my diffuser over in the corner. Sometimes it's on, sometimes it's off. A lot of times it's off by the end of the day when I'm doing my video because I had it running all day and I've been in my office and then it's off and I'm getting ready to be done for the day. But today I'm doing this video earlier. So my diffuser is going and one of the oils, essential oils I have in it is called Abundance. And this is a daily oil for me, which means I put it on daily every morning as part of my daily routine. And I try to put it on in the afternoon as well, but I diffuse it in my office almost every day. I would say like 95% of the time I'm diffusing this oil. Um, and what it does is it helps me bring my frequency. Everything is on a frequency. If you're not familiar with frequencies, do a little digging, research, food has frequencies, emotions have frequencies, or everything has a frequency. And so what I do is I use this oil and I'll put it over my heart and on my wrist and I help my body bring my frequency up so that I can receive abundance in my life. And as have you seen that I've had a lot of great, exciting blessings lately, I do feel like this is one of the um, dailies that has helped contribute to that. Of course, you can't say everything happens because April's wearing essential oil. That's not what I'm saying. But what it does do is it helps me bring up my frequency uh, and stay there so that um, I'm in this frequency daily and throughout the day. So I just wanted to share that with you. I do have a video on my YouTube channel that talks about April's favorite essential oils for inventing. So you could probably find that if you scroll a little bit because it's a little bit of an older um, video, but that's just something I wanted to share with you. And um, I bathe in that oil as well weekly, um, wear it, all of the things. And there's more, lots more that I use, but I, that's just one of my favorites and I wanted to chat about it. So again, if you have the opportunity to go to a show, take it. You get to be in real time, doors open, meeting people in person, being able to play your game, show your product in person is huge. Also remember, you are not alone. We are all in this journey together. Just find your buddy, find your partner, find your little group to stick with you and do check-ins and ask questions because it's super important. So if you don't have it, and that's made a huge difference for me having friends that I can go to and ask questions to. So find your people, find your people, and um, it really can make a difference. So have a wonderful, wonderful week. And to all of those that I got to see in New York, it was amazing and I missed so many people. I was running from meeting to meeting way too often. I should have had a little bit more free time. So I didn't get to everyone's booths that I wanted to see, uh, friends online that I would have loved to see your booths. Uh, so I do apologize for that, but I am very thankful for those that I did run into and get to get, did get to chat with. And hopefully those I didn't, I will next time. So, all right, you guys have a wonderful weekend and uh, stay healthy. All right, bye.